Well, in this weekend's hometown, Maine, we head to a gunquit. Once part of a village within the town of Wells, this town of 1,500 has become one of the most popular year round destinations in Maine. That's right. It's home to one of the greatest summer theaters in the entire nation, a beautiful public library, and of course, the Agunquit River itself. When people say they travel to Maine to see its beautiful coast, look no farther than a little beautiful spot here in town. Let's head to Agunquit now for this weekend's hometown, Maine. Ogunquit is simply referred to as a beautiful place by the sea. Between its charming little downtown and that seaside gem known as Perkins Cove, it certainly lives up to that very building. There is so much to do and see in relatively such a small place. Geographically, Ogunquit is only 4.2 square miles, but there is a mile of that town that really is the embodiment of all things Maine and our beautiful rocky coast. It's called the Marginal Way Walking Path. In about 1925, uh, this gentleman, Josias Chase from York, a uh, neighboring town to the south of us, uh, deeded to the town about, oh, about a mile or so of walkway. And uh, so since 1925, we've had this beautiful walkway. The mile and a quarter path runs from Perkins Cove to what is known as Little Beach, attracting tens of thousands of visitors year round. And if there ever was that perfect marriage of land meeting sea, this may be it. I mean, right? You've got the benches for whoever wants to sit. There's tons of them, the rose bushes, the beautiful houses along the way, yeah. and the ocean. So you can't go wrong. And no, you really can't go wrong. Even on a day that is socked in with fog. Oh, it's still care. perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes it uh, a little bit different each time. And this yeah. is one of the differences. Yeah. And it's a great thing. While the town of Agunquit owns the land and is responsible for the maintenance, the preservation of its overall beauty took on an even greater role four years ago. Back in 2010, four business owners here in Agunquit. Got together and put in 25,000 each to establish a preservation fund, an endowment, so that the town could come to us asking for grants for major repair work. Even though the walkway has evolved from a dirt path to what it has become today, preservation has become a year round job. Storms, erosion, invasive vegetation remain the biggest threats to its upkeep. Today, more than 1,200 people help support funds for the trail's upkeep, making it a go-to destination for people from all over the world. This couple from Florida, for example, celebrated their 20th and now, this year, their 25th wedding anniversary by walking this very path. So we'll see you back in five years for another anniversary walk. You will do. It well, may well be. <laughs> we were just here actually two years ago, we too. Were okay. so. mm -hmm. Very good. This, this is one of our favorite places to come. It's just so beautiful. The trail will soon celebrate its 90th anniversary in what may be one of the most beautifully accessible walks in all of Maine. And we call it a gem or a jewel because it is unique. Uh, people say it, they've compared it to other, you know, walkways, cliff walks, and they say the Algonquin is really up there as being special. And if there's something about your hometown that makes it unique, a person, place, or thing, or walking trail such as that, we want to hear from you, of course. Email us at hometownme at wmtw.com, and maybe we'll feature your hometown in a future hometown, Maine. That is one of the true gems of this state, Katie. I mean, having walked that, even though the day was a little foggy yeah. out, it added a little mystique to it and everything, but uh, really, uh, it, it's a great walking trail, one of the best mile and a quarter trails you'll see in the state. Yeah, right on the coastline. You got all the rocks below you and mm. the ocean, so I'm sure gorgeous no matter what the weather.